going through. And I wanted to do for one person, I always say if there's just one person out there that I could reach with that message or with a quote or with that video, then that one person is enough because I was that one person that felt so alone. And I literally had to depend on God and my faith and positivity to get me through like so many days for so many years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now it's just, it's overwhelming that I get to share that with other people and that it makes a difference in their lives. And I'm just, you know, as hard as it is to go through a situation like I did, people will say to me when they hear my story, they'll say, I'm so sorry you went through that. And I will turn around and say, I'm not, I can't tell you how hard it was to come to that place of gratitude for such a bad situation, but I'm grateful because it gave me a mission and it gave me a message and it gave me a way to help other people. So I have to find gratitude for that because those people are so important and they need it so much. It, you really have to stop and kind of reflect on that. It, it's, it's really, uh, really amazing. And, and it's so glad that you're able to, to reach out and, um, and help others, others that might potentially be going through what you are. Exactly. And I've had so many people that I have their stories, like I will save their messages, you know, that have told me I was suicidal and I watched a video and you gave me hope and I'm here because of you. You cannot understand what that does to you as a person. It validates my story. It validates my reason. It validates that gratitude. It says, see, it's okay to be transparent. It's okay to get out there and be completely, you know, open and vulnerable and share it because that one person needed to hear it. That one person was affected. Mm -hmm. And that, that just really touches me that I have been able to do that by, by taking up, you know, the reins and saying, okay, I'll, I'll do this thing. I'll do it. I, I, I really, I just don't ever plan anything. I don't, you know, sit down and write down anything. I just get on my blog, I get on the video, and I just start talking and share what I feel I'm supposed to share in that moment. And it's always different. It's always, you know, whatever's just current. And I just share my heart. And that's, that's all I'm here to do. Wow. That's awesome. Do you find that, um, <clears throat> you know, through, through um, finding people and people reaching out, um, have you created some, you know, special bonds with other other people and met other people through uh, the experiences that you've been through and have you been able to carry through those relationships you know even now absolutely i've had several people reach out to me and you know we have formed great friendships and you know it's just online like i haven't gotten to meet a lot of those people in person um but there is hope for that you know hopefully i'll be able to you know, have some speaking engagements and, and get to those cities and they can be close and they'll, you know, come out and we'll be able to meet in person. And I can't even imagine what that is going to feel like when that happens, because we do uh, get very close and I check on them and I, you know, just stay up with their situations and pray for them. And so, yeah, it's a very beautiful thing. I, I have what I call our TGIT, which stands for Thank God It's Today Tribe. Mm -hmm. So we... We just call it a tribe. We're like, you know, like so and so's birthday today. Everybody tell Nancy happy birthday, you know. So we'll all be like, happy birthday, girl. You know, so it's just a really beautiful thing um, to have that little tribe together and that support. It's a beautiful thing. And, and I'll say that like one thing that inspired me uh, to continue to do those videos, because at, at first when I started, I was like, well, who am I? You know, I'm not some big celebrity and I'm not some, you know, person that has it all together. Why am I supposed to be on here doing these videos? It doesn't really matter. Then I started getting the messages about people that didn't want to live, that didn't even want to make it through another day. And that inspired them and gave them hope to continue and that they could make it. And one day I heard this woman and she shared her story and she was like, you know, today's the first day I've gotten out of bed and taken a shower and put makeup on and gotten out of my house in six months. 
I have sat and just watched Facebook and scrolled through Facebook and social media for six months. And when I heard her say that, I was like, this is why you have to do the videos for yeah. people like that. There are some people that just can't even get out of bed. They're so depressed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, I want to do those videos for those people that just literally don't even leave their home. So that's, that's why I do what I do, just for those hurting people out there so that I can inspire them and be there for them. That's wonderful. Um, so thank when, you, thank you. <laughs> when, when you started, um, doing this, I, I mean, you must have, did you have any apprehension when you, when you initially started putting things out? Like, were you, did you hesitate and you're just like, do I really want to bring this up or, or were you just off yeah, the Like, how and, do you start? Like, yeah. Where do, where, yeah. Where do you start with that? I just knew, I knew that I knew that I knew that God had literally saved my life. And I was like, you saved me for a reason. And I knew that I had to use it for good because it's easy. It's a lot easier to get down and depressed and stay in your bed for six months and think, you know, poor me, poor me. Mm. And I'm not saying that about anyone out there, but it's easy to do that. It's much easier to do that than to look and go, what can I do to change the world because of what I went through. And so, you know, I always say it's, it's not what I went through. It's how can I help others because of what I went through? Mm -hmm. So it's how can I help? And that is what I chose. I chose to be positive. I chose to not say I'm a victim. I chose to say I'm a vi victor. I'm victorious. I'm here. I'm alive. I have breath. I have a voice. And I have to use it. It would be a tragedy to not speak out and help other people, knowing that they're out there, knowing that I needed that person. And I didn't have that person. I didn't have anybody that I could look to and that I had hope. I had to look every day to God and every single day find that positivity just to get through the day. And, you know, now that's all I want to do is to give back because that's what I'm here to do. You know, everything I went through was for a reason and it wasn't to be a negative one. It's to be a positive one and to be a light to the world and to say, I've been through it and you will make it, you know, I made it, you're going to make it too. And I will help you on the way. Wow. Now you, before we started, I'm just determined. <laughs> That's <laughs> I'm good. Determined. That's great. Now, before we started the show, you had mentioned that uh, you have uh, a great, uh, bunch of kids and uh, do you I find do. that they are um very supportive and and uh helpful along the way like your, your your children draw some inspiration from you as well um you know what i i adore them i have six children and they're all wow. wonderful and they're great people and i absolutely adore them they honestly were a great source of my strength uh, through the years of uh, hardship that I endured. And they inspired me, I would say, to continue, you know, like to always be positive. And I knew I had to be that for them. I had to be that rock for them mm -hmm. and to show them an example of being strong. And I have a very close bond uh, with them. And yes, like my, my oldest son, he is just, He's amazing, and um, he will actually be having a birthday. They're all three of my sons have a birthday this month. Yeah, so one birthday, turns twenty four, one turns twenty two, and one turns um, fourteen. Oh. But you know, my oldest son, he's just like so supportive, and he's like, "Mom, I'm so you know like proud of you. Thank you for being you know such a wonderful mom to me and such a beautiful example of love." And I don't think I could ever have received a greater gift than those words right there for being an example of love to him. Because if, if anyone asked me today, what is the one thing you want to leave behind in this world? That's my answer. Love. I always say I am love because I chose not to be bitter and not to be um, negative through mm -hmm. the situation I went through. I chose to love others and to be love and hope 
and positivity. And so I always say that, you know, I want everybody to say that woman loved so hard. She loved every person she encountered and she loved deep. So that for me was such a great thing to hear that from my son recently. Like he sent a text to me and it was, just, it was on Mother's Day and it was so beautiful. Very nice. So yes, I'm so grateful for them all. I am. I find moms are also some of the most powerful people in the world. You know, I, I, I makes me feel quite weak because uh, when when I have a headache, I can't seem to function around my children. <laughs> and, you Aww. know, like, and it's amazing because, uh, you know, my, my wife will get up and she will literally go through some of the worst days with a headache. And, and I didn't even know she had a headache. And um, she's just like, yeah, you just you just got to push through. It doesn't stop you from being a mom. And I'm thinking, nope, can't function. <laughs> I have a headache. I can't keep yeah, going. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, she's a great mom and yep. a great wife. And it's true. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm that nurturer, too. You know, like they come before anything. And that's just clearly God entrusted me with six wives. So he believed in me for something. And um, and now he's interesting a lot more people with me. and. It's, it's an honor to yeah. to be his voice like that for yep. these people and to touch their lives and to just speak hope into their life. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what he is about. And that's what I desire to do. And we need that more in this day and age with everything going on and people being a little a uh, little crazier, a little more depressed, a little bit more angry. Uh, we need more light yes. and, and uh, love in this world. So, Absolutely. I mean, the timing was impeccable, like with the coronavirus and people being stuck at home. And I actually would like encourage like my tribe to share their own Facebook videos and to start doing lives themselves or to paint or to draw or play guitar uh -huh. or an instrument and just do something and share it, you know, because everyone has a gift and we all need to share our gift. And I've watched some of them start blogging themselves and it's so beautiful because they're like touching people. So I love it. Like, that's what we're doing. We are out there sharing, you know, that positive mentality in a world that needs it more than ever. You are so right. You are so right. Wonderful. Bringing the love. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's therapeutic, I think, for for all of us. Um, you know, uh, when you share something with somebody else, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Tony and I, um, you know, we both go through... Uh, you know, we have our own anxieties and things like that that we deal with, and but we're open about it. We talk about it to each other, and mm -hmm. um, I always find a sense of strength uh, after sharing with with one another, and uh, not only for the for our bond, but just personally, uh, it makes you feel like mm -hmm. you're not alone. And sometimes yeah. there's it, that is quite powerful. And it sounds like you give that to a lot of people. That's amazing. Yes, thank you so much. And I'm just, you know, honored that I have people like that that have reached out and said, you know, I don't have anyone. Like I'm stuck in an apartment by myself. I don't even have a pet during this coronavirus. And they're like, thank you for, you know, listening to me and being there for me. And I'm like, it's my honor. You know, it's it's an honor to check on you. Like some people that are, you know, a part of that tribe, like are facing, you know, life threatening illnesses and they're in domestic abuse situations and there's just a lot that people go through. And so I'm always checking on them and just being there for them and so forth. Amazing. So let's get into the second part of our show and we are going to do okay. our rapid fire questions with Maddie G. Uh Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Perfect. There's no wrong answers. Take as long as you need. And okay. uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we do. All right. All right. Here we go. Question. question number one what made up word would you register into the english language fantabulous all yeah. right yep what's the scariest dream that you can remember Ooh, being on a floor that had all these great big giant holes in them and i was trying to not fall into them a recurring one actually i've had that dream over and over Oh, yeah, that that sounds like that'd be a bad one. Yeah. Oh. Um, what superpower would you pick if you could? Oh, to fly. That's a popular one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> What's your earliest childhood memory? Um, probably running away and going to church. I ran away from home 
and I went to church and tried to get in the church doors. And these little old ladies <laughs> saw me and picked me you up. You rebel, you.